Yes, uh, you can. So, without going, yes. So, the, the, the kicker about combining antennas, and you can do this, you can combine two antennas, is the cable length from the antenna, from each antenna, to the splitter, or in this, in your case, combiner, should be the same length. And I'm talking about, like, go buy two six-foot pre-made cables so that it's exactly the same length. And then you want to put the antennas away from each other, like, on the same pole, but, you know, 10 feet apart. So, um, I'm going to do this because I'm, well, we're going to go down this road, this hole. So, hold on here a second. That's the wrong source. There we go. So, and I've done this before, so just bear with me. On a tower, I have uh, I've done one antenna. Pointing this way. And I've done one antenna pointing this way. And this distance was i want to say somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 feet i don't remember exactly and then um we had a splitter or a combiner if you will which is just a splitter backwards mounted there and we ran six foot cables to each antenna and then ran one cable down to the ground and these were oops these were six foot cables if I'm, I'm not mistaken And it worked like a charm, and it works to this day. At least it did last time I knew, which was a couple years ago. I drove by their day, I don't know, maybe a month ago. And the setup was still there, so I'm assuming they're still using it. But this will work. This will absolutely, you can combine two antennas facing opposite directions as long as they're in the same pole and they're separated but you have the exact same length of cable. And um, why that is important is because the signals from different stations will be hitting, or the same signal from the same station will be hitting both antennas differently. And you want to combine the signals, not cancel each other out. So if you have different lengths of cables, you in theory would get one signal from here and then you'd cancel it out because you would subtract it from the other way, basically. So you have to have identical lengths of cable and the antennas mounted in the same plane so that the signal hits both antennas at the same time and then gets combined in a additive uh, way instead of a like an offset or phase cancellation kind of way. Um, I hope that made sense. Uh, if you... If that didn't, please let me know. But uh, yes, you can absolutely combine two antennas pointed different directions with one coax.